What's going on everybody? Today we're at the Attic in Alhambra, California and as you guys know, streetwear trends are forever changing. So today we're gonna be going over our favorite current items to get out of streetwear store. Y'all ready? Let's, let's go. go. All right, guys, let's start off with what they got at the front of the store. They got that BBC. What do you guys think about this right now? Man, that astronaut helmet is iconic. This is something rappers have known for a long time. Pharrell really put it on. I always thought it was very simple, very clean. It's nice to wear by itself or nice to wear under a flannel. Worth copying? Definitely worth copying. All right, guys, for me, I'm not really a huge fan of the whole big logo tee, so I'm going to have to go with the simple billionaire okay, boy shirt. Nice shirt. Staying away from all the big logo tees is kind of a good statement shirt to kind of have. Nice, clean, and simple. Price point's only 46 bucks compared to what, like 80 bucks? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. I like uh, this little icon they got right here on the side of the sleeve right here. A little nice touch right there. All right, guys, we got one of those classic brands right here, Obey. I'm a classic man. They do a lot of cut and sew, but they also do like uh, more of those graphic tees. I've always liked Obey because of the material that they use mm. for the clothing when it goes back to like cut and sew. Mm. I think this is a very simple, little clean, little Raglan's little cut. The fact that it's really soft, y'all oh. gotta feel it, bro. And yep. it's not even expensive, it's 40 feel bucks. That. Feel that, bro. It's butter, baby. I can't believe it's no bottom. And you guys know one big thing that I always talk about in my videos are these stripes right here. I got a lot of t-shirts that look like this, but they just different variations. Everybody calling me out for wearing the same t-shirt. Trust me, they different t-shirts. But this is a nice quality. It's really thick actually. And uh, let's see what the price was. I mean, kind of expensive, 38 bucks. I would say you can maybe hold off and get a cheaper one. All right, guys, what do you guys feel about Publish? They they known for the joggers. Yo, didn't they have these at like Old Navy and Gap yeah. back in the day where you could just like turn your uh, your your cargo shorts into like and pants? They, they got three or four levels to the <laughs> shorts. You could have the high waters, you can have the, uh, the shorts, yo, and then the short shorts. Yo, there's levels to this, okay? <laughs> All right, guys, in the section we got Huff. Huff. They're known for a lot of like the tie dye and the acid wash and very hippie like. Right here, boy. So break this down right now. So this is kind of stepping away from your typical, you know, all solid black hoodie. I like this because it still has that um, that tone to it, but then has a nice simple little logo. And if you want to wear it by itself, oh. you got a logo on the back. So we were asking the manager earlier what are like the top sellers when it comes to the streetwear store, and they were saying undefeated. I feel like they're, they're icon, man. The five stripes yep. kind of like been going off for. Ever. This is just a classic logo right here. They're so in tune, I feel like, with the shoe head, um, you know, culture as well, yeah. too. I like this a lot, man. Okay. Just the fact that Undefeated <laughs> comes out with that coach jacket. <laughs> okay. And I we, I come from Seattle, so when it rains, I want to wear something like yo, this. Yo, I feel like this is like that, uh, I know what you did last summer, uh, killer <laughs> I was thinking coat. more this like Pete Carroll, but <laughs> all right, I guess I'm a scary This is like real scary, okay? <laughs> yo, Johnny, what size is that, man? Hey. I just want to let y'all know. I mean, it looks pretty good on you. This is actually a medium, All right, so sir. how you... Oh, that's a medium? This is a medium, So how you man. feeling it? How you feeling it? I feel great. How do I look in it? It don't look as scary right as I thought it did. <laughs> when it's just by itself, it looks real scary, like diamond supply. This is just doing way too much, I feel like. For me, it's like... You are a butcher slash fisherman, like <laughs> These Gordon's. Look scary too. You look like you make good fish sticks when you wear this or something. <laughs> Past 10 seconds, it kind of grew on me. You know what? This kind of reminds me of like a um back in the day in like the 90s when they was rocking Tim's. Some of them um, try to rhyme, but they can't rhyme like this. Thing. <laughs> For Diamond Supply, one thing they really like to focus on is uh, uh, collaborations mm. they do with like celebrities and yeah, whatnot. Like Ivan like Jasper. Ivan Jasper has with, his uh, own line. Ben Baller's ben Baller. done his own t-shirts with them. And they're gonna work on with DJ Khaled. Don't ever play yourself, okay? You know what I'm saying? Susie. All right, man, this is that, just that classic, iconic for sure. Earlier we were talking about some brands being better at the cut and sew, some brands being better at the screen print tees, but I feel like the Stussy, they kind of just big solid at everything. Tan, I know you really like these ones that just say the Stussy across the chest. Yeah, I feel like the Stussy logo is like almost like a streetwear Nike. This Stussy logo here will never go away. They even came out with soccer jerseys. Like, oh, that's your favorite jersey right If you guys watch Hype Talk, you know he loves this jersey right here. I don't know how many times they've re-released this freaking hoodie, but I don't know how many times I would still be willing to buy it. One thing about Stussy I like is the fact that like it's always been affordable. I'm gonna have to go with this hockey jersey, man. Ooh, that's this a one big got, man jersey. This is right a there. big man jersey, but hockey. it got me it got me feeling like pop. You know what I'm saying? I'm throwing up the West Side. For me, I have to go with the soccer jersey. I got the blue one already. I've always been a fan of just variations of the same thing. Mm -hmm. So if I like the blue one, I'm gonna cop the black one. Next up we got the jeans section over here. They got a lot of cool choices. They got embellished they got uh i think they have rustic dime we got some rustic dime here one big thing a lot of people like right now are these olive pants i know big boy chibashan in the back of the camera was saying if i see some olive pants that fit me he's, he's i'm pop. copping so why do you think olive pants are a good play man it's almost like you're switching up your style you know so like you don't really wear olive pants with the screen print t-shirts as much like that mm. so i feel like the olive pants kind of Switches up your versatility when it comes to your style, so I feel like that's a 
Yeah. Good, good thing to have your wardrobe. You want some rips in your jeans? Embellish gonna get the job done because they put some rips in their jeans. And right here, they put the little uh, Egyptian cotton design hey. underneath the rip, so you don't gotta show your hairy legs off. Hey. So we gotta talk about this bucky hat. Hey. Well, I feel like a, they got me feeling like a soldier. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like us guys could never pull off the bucket hat, man. That's I don't know like, why. I mean, there's a reason why Schoolboy Key wears it. Okay. You know? okay. Rothko is a solid brand. Tell me. 15 bucks for the hat. All right. Wow. I'm not Richie, even joking. Richie, another cop. I really think I'm going to have to take this. <laughs> this isn't another cop for John. This is not even the best item to get at a streetwear store. This is called Johnny Go Shopping. <laughs> Say if you got a little bit more money extra after copying your essentials at the streetwear shop. You got the sock section right here. Dance is actually a brand that's coming up right now. Yeah. I mean, shoot, they're the official sponsor for NBA now. I mean, all the NBA oh. players wear it. Price point is kind of expensive, 16 bucks. A little pricey, man. But I wouldn't say this is the first thing you should run to. All right, last but not least, we got the accessories section. This is a, you know, a nice little touch to add to your outfit if you want a little bit more bling. They got the finger ring right here with the um, pyramids on them. That's pretty hot right now. They got the Mister. Mister's the brand out of SF that's making some noise as far as the accessories. What, what, what do we got over here? Hey, we got a lot of glasses and watches, man. I was like, one thing about super glasses, I feel like it's like an alternative to Ray-Bans. Definitely a lot cheaper. And it's kind of more stylish, in my opinion. As far as watches, what are we looking at right here? Nixon. Nixon. I feel like Nixon is like a nice watch that almost looks like a ro Roly. <laughs> like, from far away, it might look like a Roly, but it's like a good alternative to kind of go with your style, especially if you're dressing up. This dun, watch, dun, dun. <laughs> this G-Shock watch. I remember I seen Richie have this watch. I'm like, yo, that's fly. And he's like, you want to borrow it? I'm like, yeah, I want to borrow it. And I put it on, he's like, yo, your swagger points went up by like 100 points. <laughs> yo, when he no. told me that, I didn't give it back to him for like half a year. All right, guys, thank you for checking out that video on the best items to get at a streetwear store. This is just our opinion. You know, it all comes down to what you guys want to get, really, and what you like. Um, thank you, Johnny. Thank hey. you, Tan, for being in the video. And, you know, what it came down to basically is just spend your, if you don't got a lot of money, spend your money on the essentials. You don't have to go straight to the accessories or, you know, the socks or something. Those are if you got the extra money to spend, but it's all about the essentials. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for checking out the video. Until next time, we out. Peace. Thanks for checking out that video. Make sure you guys check out this video on the left, this video on the right. And don't forget to leave in the comments below what kind of things you guys think is hot in streetwear stores. Hey, until next time, we're out. Peace. Peace.